Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, a.k.a. The Venom Vlog. This is episode 86, and I'm actually going to go through the IMDb page. Now that there's 64 cast members added to this, a lot of them are extras, a lot of them are small parts, non-speaking roles. Obviously, a lot of these people are trying to break into the various industries uh, in, in movies, being the main industry, uh, but they're trying to update their resume. They're trying to get their name out there, and they want to say, like, hey, I'm in this movie Venom coming out. So they can use that to get other roles, and if they have managers and agents, try to get them other roles. And if they're just starting out, build that credit to get into the Actors Guild. So a lot of them are updating you know, their, their IMDb with roles that they're playing. And so we have things that are here that are obvious. Like we have um, Neighborhood Couple, which is funny because there's this lady, Marcella Braggio, who's listed as Neighborhood Couple. And then there's a uh, uh, William Barber, and there looks like to be an age gap between the two. I don't know how much of one, but just based off their profile pics. Um, but I think that's interesting that uh, that you know they're listed as neighborhood couple. So obviously we're gonna get something in a neighborhood. That's not news. Obviously none of this probably will be news. But I just thought it'd be fun to like theorize on this. But those things I don't want to talk about. Um, things like st street pedestrian and stuff like that. I don't really care about. We know about Jack the bartender. Uh, we know there's a scene set in a bar. We talked about that uh, where they were filming in uh in san francisco and they used um one of the bars there to like film at they were looking for extras to be in the scene so we already knew there was going to be a bartender scene um joey the eight-year-old boy don't know anything about him right now um although i like the idea of uh, a, a kid being saved by venom i always like that uh visual of like this big monster saving like some kid or you know someone so uh i think that might lend to some like you know humor a humorous moment hopefully we have Apollo GT on who's playing the villager. Now I've li I saw some other people listed as villager before, and uh, like here, Emilita T Gonzalez is listed as villager, um, and uh, and I'm and I'm looking at oh yeah, and uh, Keiko Thompson. So there's some people with like um, with like uh, you know Mexican and South American background that are being listed as villager, and then there's people with like you know Japanese and other Asian backgrounds listed as villager. There was some rumor going around for a while that there was a scene in this movie that took place like in a, a Japanese village. Um, I don't know how that fits in unless it's like some kind of storytelling sequence where where someone, you know, like Riz Ahmed is monologuing about like the history of war or something or the history of, you know, man and why men need something like a symbiote to help them evolve into something better. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to factor in, uh, but I wanted to bring this to you guys to start spinning your wheels, so see what you guys are theorizing about. But I had heard some rumors about that early on, but I haven't seen any kind of confirmation or filming of something like that, so I can't really say. But there, apparently there are a couple villagers in this movie, um, so that's interesting. Uh, obviously, we know about a restaurant. There's waiters, there's restaurant people, uh, bistro people, you know, cast and stuff, and we heard about that in San Francisco, So, and, and I think even in Atlanta, too, so not really worried about that too much. Um, San Francisco Police Department officer, obviously we know that. We also know that, uh, uh, what's his name, um, uh, Reed Scott, he's listed as, uh, right now, he's listed as a possibly playing Patrick Mulligan, who turns into Toxin in the comic book, but he is a police officer in the comics. I think he's a New York police officer in the comics, but I'm sure they'll just easy switch to make him San Francisco. Uh, but P Patrick Mulligan becomes Toxin, so, and he's kind of high up there on the list of characters in a movie, so he might have like a, when I think of The Crow, when I think of stuff like this, and you know, there was a Officer Albrecht uh, who like helped Sarah and the crow like do their thing. He had a pretty decent part played by Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters. So, you know, I would I wouldn't you know be surprised if his role was on that level uh, where he just gets like a couple scenes, but they're like you know good scenes hopefully. Um, and we have lab techs, things like that. Uh, one of the things I, that did catch my interest though was uh, uh, we have sailors. There was people listed as sailors, so obviously there's going to be a sequence with on a pier or boat or something like that makes sense there's a, a great port over at uh, san francisco there's a great port there with a lot of great boats personal boats and big ships and things like that so uh it looks like they have some sailors listed in here so there could be a scene where you know there's an action sequence down on the docks or something so that could be cool um then we also have this one which i thought was interesting uh john azuna is playing the johnson prison guard now the reason why I want to take note of this is because Johnson Prison is actually in Georgia. Uh, so they're listing him as Johnson Prison Guard, which obviously they wouldn't call the jail, considering the movie set in San Francisco, they wouldn't call the jail uh, Johnson Prison, State Prison, because that's in Georgia. Um, I, you know, so, but it, and nothing else at least gives us 
a, a, a scene here that something's going to take place in a prison. Um, so that could be the Cletus Cassidy stuff that uh, maybe, you know, Eddie Brock gets arrested at some point in the movie, or maybe it's dealing with Woody Harrelson and maybe because they said he's like a, a thug or a guard of some, or like a goon of some kind, maybe he's not Cletus Cassidy. Maybe, he, you know, there's small interaction with him in a prison of some kind. Who knows? Or maybe it's when Riz Ahmed gets taken to jail at the end. I'm hoping he gets eaten by Venom. <laughs> I kind of want Venom to eat somebody in this movie, so uh, or at least eat someone's arm off, do something like really gruesome. That's kind of Venom's thing anyway. Um, you know, have like a hand sticking out of his mouth, and then someone's like, no, you can't eat people. You're supposed to be a hero. And he's just like... <sighs> Oh, okay, you know, <laughs> like, uh, I'll be a hero next time. Um, yeah, Venom just has, like, that kind of sense of humor about him. But, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was interesting. Johnson Prison Guard, they probably just filled that in for now because they're like, oh, they probably filmed a scene at Johnson State Prison. I, I don't know. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, where that comes in. And as far as timeline goes, it would make sense if they filmed that in Georgia because a lot of people were saying that the carnage thing is set in up like upstate above uh, San Francisco in California and that it's going to be um, a different prison located out here in uh, in California but I was like ah I, I don't know I think they filmed that scene in Georgia because if you're watching the timeline of like uh uh, uh, Atlanta Filming, who we were following, and he, we were getting, like, information from his Twitter page, uh, Atlanta Filming was saying, like, yeah, there's stuff about Carnage, and I, I, you know, from what we understand, he's in one scene, and he's, you know, they've already shot it, and that was in Atlanta, so to me, I'm thinking this John Azuna could be a prison guard in Atlanta, and then maybe that's where they filmed the Carnage scene, so, I don't know, just more information I wanted to bring to you guys, more theorizing I wanted to do, uh, let's see, we got the villager stuff, tech girl, San Francisco tourist, and pedestrian, blah, 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 window shopper, stuff like that. So nothing else pretty exciting. Hazmat crew, we saw them in the trailer, so that's nothing new either. Lab tech, so we know we're going to be in labs in this movie. So, uh, and Life Foundation security guard, which we talked about James Jones before. Uh, so yeah, just, I thought the sailor thing was neat. Maybe it would give us a doc scene. I'm just trying to piece together some stuff that might give us a little bit of information. Cause obviously Sony is playing this so close to the vest, which we say all the time. Uh, they're keeping it really close to them and maybe a little too close, but at the same time, I understand why. Uh, but, uh, but for here, at least we can maybe gather some things, assuming this information is right, because obviously... A lot of it might not be. Like Johnson Prison Guard, I'm sure that's going to get updated at some point because I doubt they're calling the prison Johnson State Prison because that's in Georgia. Um, unless for some reason the story moves to Georgia, which I don't know why it would. Uh, but Cletus Cassidy is Southern, so who knows? Maybe he's in a jail in, in, uh, in Georgia. Anyway, that's all I had. It's not a very exciting video, but I just wanted to try to piece, piece some things together because obviously a lot of you guys have been asking me about the IMDb. And uh, I do try to keep an eye on it. And with movie news being so lax right now, because obviously Sony's, you know, trying to not react too hastily from the trailer. A lot of people didn't like the trailer because it didn't show Venom and stuff. So now I think they're going to play their cards smart from here on out. They're going to try not to rush things. Uh, and I think that's smart for them to do. So all we can really do is scour the internet and, and do the best we can with this kind of information. So I give it to you guys. Check out the IMDb. Let me know if I missed anything. And if you guys have anything you want to add to this, um, let me know. If you heard the rumors about the, the Japanese village, if you heard you know rumors about a dock fight scene, whatever you heard, uh, let me know. Obviously, there's going to be a scene on a trolley. There's people listed as trolley passengers and stuff and all that. So uh, I'm just trying to kind of fit together a timeline, just kind of get a sense of the locations we might get in this movie. Because I think about that, like, you know, we talked about that before in my videos where I'm like, oh, I hope a scene happens at a concert because the sounds would irritate the symbiote and seeing Eddie Brock trying to like question somebody to get information and hide the symbiote, but then the symbiote like reacting to the music, um, I thought that would play well visually. And, uh, and so I, I think of scenes like that. And so Pulling from here, I'm like, oh, I could visualize a dock fight and, and then I'm getting thrown through a boat and maybe even lifting up the anchor from a boat and like <laughs> slamming it down on like Scream or something. Um, I don't know. I'm just picturing all these like really big uh, fight scenes. Although I know this isn't going to be a superhero movie. I'm, I should re restrain from doing that too much. It is going to be more like a monster movie, like The Fly from what I heard. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. So but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens with the next trailer and we'll see what happens when the movie comes out. But I just want to bring this attention to you guys. Uh, so or bring this stuff to your attention, guys and gals. So yeah, anyway, as you can tell, I'm tired. I'm slurring my words together. I got to get sleep. I got to work tomorrow. So I will see you guys in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Peace.